So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the ramps we built in the last video. We'll test those out and we'll also go ahead and change the oil and see if the Fomoto valve is really worth purchasing. It's so windy out. So here's the Fomoto valve we installed the last time I did the oil. It should just be as simple as pulling this lever here and then it just all comes spewing out, no tools required. So let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that works perfect. I for some reason thought it came out of here. Now my only concern really with the Fomoto valve is if the threads are pushed in to the oil pan, then hypothetically speaking, it's not draining all the oil and then you're kind of just circulating old oil constantly in the motor which i don't really like that idea so i think what i'm going to do is once this drains out is putting it in containers and seeing how much is actually there and then i can measure if there's anything left in the oil pan still the wind is blowing so hard it's moving the oil draining look at all these stance nation scrape marks since i've lowered the car good grief and there's some on the plastic here too <laughs> so yeah we'll let this drain out and then once that's done We'll just go ahead and refill it and yeah but so far the Fomoto valve big thumbs up I think it's only like 20 bucks or so so definitely recommend that for sure one eternity later it looks like it's getting close to being done and then it takes super long for it to drain I figured it would take much longer given that the, the hole is a little bit smaller than the actual like factory drain plug hole but it didn't take super long to drain which is always good news the wind is just like honestly pushing oil in my face right now so looks like this might have a little more time on it so once this wraps up we'll close it up and get it filled back up so one little tip when you're at like the drip stage if you just close it for a minute or two even just a few quick seconds it'll actually build up all the oil kind of drain a little quicker so you're not stuck waiting longer than you need to see much better so we got the hood pop now. We'll go ahead and get the old oil filter off. Oh God, it's so windy. Like it's slightly cold, but the wind is just like death. Where'd I put the new one at? Oh, it's right there. There we go. So now we got the new filter on. Let's go ahead now. We'll close up the Fumoto valve. The wind is unbelievable today. I'm sorry if the audio is horrible. All right, last but not least. Well, 
little splishy splashy. That should be about five and a half. Man, those ramps worked out really good. So we'll pull it off the ramps and then we'll let it run for a second and then check the oil again. See how it is coming off. Dude, the ramps worked out so good. I'm so stoked on these things, dude. I couldn't be happier with these little hunks of wood. So we let it run for a quick moment while we got it off the ramps. So now we'll go ahead and check and see, now that there's oil in the filter, how we're looking. What a little splishy splashy, just a little bit. No funnel gang. Go ahead and leave in the comments how bad it is to not use a funnel. We're good. So I would definitely recommend the Fomoto valve. Um, it's only like, I think 18 or $20 or so. Uh, super cheap, you literally just thread out the drain plug and just thread this one in. Um, it seemed like it drained all the oil out. I don't think there was any left in the pan. Uh, completely toolless oil change, which is always awesome. Uh, we made a bit of a graveyard of uh, oil cans that we had to clean up here. Super glad to see that the ramps work. So there we go, there's a quick look at the Fumoto valve. We got the oil changed, tested out the ramps that we built in the last video. If you didn't see that, make sure to check that out. Super simple guide on how to make your own little wooden ramps to get your lowered car back up in the air. Um, as always, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe for more mediocre content such as this, please do and take care.